So watch as the moon comes into your view to the right. It's going to start casting a shadow on the Earth. And then you can witness a solar eclipse from space. I'm not sure if any human has actually witnessed a solar eclipse from the other <laughs> side of the moon before, but here we are. <laughs> Today we're giving you a first look at our Lightfield Optics prototype. This is a mixed reality headset, and what Lightfield is all about is the ability to display objects at multiple focal planes simultaneously. So this is a transparent display. When you put it on your head, you're going to be able to render objects as if they're right in front of you. And objects that are simultaneously at different focal planes, you can naturally change your focus between your eyes and almost reach out and hold something as if it's right, uh, right in front of you. That's the magic of light field and the ability to render things that are so not only close up, but feel so natural and realistic to you. How we see things in the real world is we can see multiple levels of focus. When I'm looking at you, I can focus on your face, but I can also see things behind you and in front of you. My eyes can very naturally pick and choose different areas to focus on. And that's, light field is all about recreating that very natural, very compelling, realistic type of images that we're used to seeing in the real world. The issue we're seeing today is with other types of display technologies that aren't light field is they tend to be fixed focal point, which means you can only show an image at one focal distance. And so you can focus on things at that distance, but it becomes very difficult to display images properly in other areas, you know, particularly in this near interaction area. So if I want to show an object that's in my hand up close, if I want to touch something, if I want to interact with maybe a user interface, if I want to have a face-to-face -face discussion with somebody, that all happens pretty close to me, you know, within about you know, three feet of me. And that, that's the distance where light field really enables those types of experiences. Without that, you're mostly limited to experiences that are generally farther away. We're not just excited about putting light field technologies into our products. We think light field is such an important aspect for the entire augmented reality industry. We think that the entire industry is going to be stagnated if they don't adopt these types of technologies because the promise of AR, the promise of these experiences that, they, that we really think about when we think about um, mixed reality and augmented reality, these things really can't come to light. They can't, they can't be real without light field. You can even get like literally inches away from one of these fish. It's crazy how close you can get. The use cases of mixed reality really is quite, uh, it's quite endless. You know, it's, it's as if we're asking the question, what is the use case of a computer? What is the use case of your smartphone? And um, those type of use cases of those devices are where mixed reality is going to start disrupting those applications. Maybe it's uh, making holographic phone calls to your kids and family. Maybe it's playing a game in your living room. Maybe it's shopping. Uh, maybe it's replacing your computer or entertainment. And of course, in the enterprise space, there's a ridiculous amount of applications. You know, anything from design, engineering, medical, um, pretty much anything you think of, uh, this, is, this is going to start pervasing uh, be pervasive into those, into those verticals. We think the entire industry, uh, the success of the industry really hinges upon this type of technology.